That's it? <laughs> what just happened? Why, why am I not feeling anything else? I stand before you tonight as the 2019 valedictorian. This time last year, I found out that I was in the running for this title. It was then that I decided I wanted it. So, I worked hard for it. I sacrificed for it. And yes, I stressed for it. And I got it. And at our senior award ceremony, it felt so good when I heard my name announced with this title. It's so good. For about 15 seconds. Yeah, 15 seconds of my heart racing and my adrenaline pumping. 15 seconds of, yeah, I won! 15 seconds of being at the top of the pile of all my accomplishments, and it felt euphoric. But there must come a 16th second. And on that 16th second, sat down in my seat, I looked at my silver stole that says valedictorian, and I thought, that's it? <laughs> what just happened? Why, why am I not feeling anything else? Uh, to be honest, I, I don't even know what I was expecting. A parade of balloons to drop? Or, or maybe I was hoping that all of my problems would fade away in comparison to this amazing achievement. But none of that happened, not even in my heart. I felt nothing. I was shocked. This was a huge problem for me, and I needed to figure out why. So here was my thought process. Working hard is good, but it should not be done for the sole purpose of a goal shake at the expense of relationship with others. I would like you to take a moment to fill in a different thing that you strive for and you focus on. Something that you thought was the end-all be-all. Perhaps it was sports, perhaps it was fine arts, academics, getting into a particular school, an unhealthy social life. Friends, we are about to launch into life and we haven't messed anything up yet. Now think, instead of academics taking your focus off your important relationships, it was your career you chose over your spouse. Instead of sports, it's money that you pursue at the detriment of your children. Instead of just the Instagram-worthy picture, it's striving to be famous at the expense of time with your friends because now you're too self-involved. I'm well aware that this is kind of a downer speech, but I don't care. Because a lesson learned should be a lesson shared. Now, I'm glad that I have only made this mistake of striving for something that is in the light of eternity not important for just one year. I can't imagine if I had learned this at 50 or at the end of my life. And here's the lesson. Have no regrets in the 16th second. Nothing is more important than your healthy relationships. Nothing. Not your goals, not your successes. And here's why. Relationships are where we get to influence, impact, and change people's lives. Your life cannot be meaningful without them. Now we are put on this earth by our Creator, and we all have a purpose. Now how we all go about that, that's what's different. It's different in what college we choose, who we marry, and what career we choose. It's different in the triumphs and tragedies that come upon us. But in all those things, new relationships are being formed. So be generous with your time and money, and a lot of relational issues will be resolved. And by the way, it's not too late to mend fractured relationships. Any friends you haven't spoken to in a while because of your pride, parents whom you disrespected, and teachers who you never thanked, just do it. Humble yourself, start a conversation. Have no regrets in the 16th second.